Hey Gemini Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. If you've been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. I hope you all are doing amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with this love reading. Who's coming towards you in love? Could be a past person, present person. Um, I'm doing this for singles, okay? Future person. Uh, could be multiple people. Who's coming towards you in love? got a bear we got the world could be somebody you meet online this person feels very sweet very protective we have a man here lifting weights could be an athlete could be somebody who is world renowned could be somebody who's in very good shape we have the statue of liberty so new york could be significant we have a magnifying glass um somebody could be discovering deeper feelings for you and then we have somebody that you're not talking to right now let's get a little bit more so maybe you, you don't know this person yet. They feel very protective. They could be very, um, what's the word I just heard in my head? Um, mm, mm, mm. Why am I hearing brolic? Y'all know how people used to say brolic back in the day? Like somebody that's real like buff. Like this person feels top heavy to me. They feel like they have big arms. They feel like they have a big chest. They feel like they are big in the sense of like working out, pumping iron, as they used to say. So we have an apple, okay. It could be a vegan, vegetarian. We had this backpack here. We have the moon. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They, it feels like they travel. They move a lot there at a distance. And this is somebody that is ready to break the ice with you. They want to speak. They want to say something. Okay. Maybe they've never told you how they felt. Maybe they've been watching you online. Could be a social media follower or friend. I don't know. Let's get into it. Who's coming towards you? They feel real warm and they like to cuddle like a bear. <laughs> okay it could be kind of soft spoken I'm getting Pisces energy we have we are a team navigating challenges with open hearts and effective communication alright so we have I'm not the person you make me out to be in your mind fantasy okay I feel like there's a softer side to this person than what you see when you look at them like they could be like a gentle giant. Like they look menacing. They look intimidating, but really they're not. Okay, I'm going to keep that there. But this one says, you're the person I want to do life with, my person. They see you as their person. The way they appear is not who they really are. I don't think that's bad, though. We have our love is a magnet for abundance, attracting all the wealth and happiness and opportunities we desire into our shared journey. This is somebody that wants to build with you. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to build with you. This person could be a parent as well, single parent, or you could be. I feel like a good father figure or mother figure, very protective, very warm. I just get a very warm energy. What's going on with we are a team navigating challenges with open hearts and effective communication? Oh my God, effective communication, eight of wands. This is a great problem solver, Sagittarius energy and a twin flame, Aries energy. You could be standing 1111. So this is somebody that has a very strong attraction to you. This is somebody, again, who could be at a distance, but they could be moving to be with you or you could be moving to be with them. You could meet them on a vacation. You can meet them on a work trip or maybe you already have. This is a sense of belonging, feeling like home, um, teamwork. They definitely believe in teamwork. And it says we are a team and the four of wands is teamwork. So this is somebody you can meet in your spiritual community. A friend can introduce you. A family member can introduce you. Maybe you already knew this person growing up. You went to the same community, college, or I don't know. You did something in community with this person. The Eight of Swords with the Four of Pentacles. Hmm. Gemini and Capricorn energy. There could be a four-year age difference or four years that this has been going on. Why? Why is that coming up? The Ten of Swords. Gemini energy again. This is you. Okay. Gemini, there's something about you not opening up to this person when you first meet. But they're going to work through that with you. They're going to make you so comfortable that you let your guards down. So some of you are guarded. You're protecting yourself. You're a little bit defensive. You're a little bit like, I don't know. This could come on really strong. This is a whirlwind romance. When you realize that this person is stable and secure, 
because that's what this is about. Somebody that wants to lay roots with you. This per person is very family oriented as well. Like if something happens to somebody in their family, they need to be there. They're like, bam, Johnny on the spot. A person you can truly depend on. Somebody could be 44 years old. Somebody could be born in the year 84. I'm seeing 84 twice here. You got the eight of wands going into the four of wands. Then you got the eight of swords going into the four of pentacles. So somebody could definitely be born eight, even August the 4th. But I'm seeing 8484. Eight, Maybe look that number up. 8484. 84, that's synchronicity. Okay, yeah. So I do feel like... um. This is a person who's coming in to help you on your healing journey to open up your heart. So it says, I'm not the person you make me out to be in your mind. So yeah, it feels like, you know, you are kind of overthinking it. That's your energy. This is overthinking. This is like <laughs> obsessively doubting something and worrying about the worst case scenario ha happening. What is this? The three of wands. Growth and expansion. Building blocks. Foresight, anticipation, and the fool because it's coming in so quickly. So there's the energy of this person making an advance towards you. Could be an Aquarius and there's an or an Aries, and there's an energy of you like, I want to take it slow. I feel like you're gonna want to take this slow. Why do I feel that way? They're everything that you want, though. Yeah, the sun. Yes, definitely I'm getting pregnancy energy here. Mm. they might be talking about starting a family like this person is going to come in really on that energy that vibration of building this is building blocks they're forward thinking they're looking to the future the fool is forward thinking he's futurism yeah confirmation futurism so this is a person who's very spontaneous and i'm telling you they may be talking about getting married or um having children very early on because it says you're my person. You're the person I want to do life with. And they're going to know it quickly. That might scare you. Could be a Taurus or Leo. Show me more about this. Yeah, you're going to want to wait. <laughs> As a soulmate though, there could definitely be distance between you two. Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, Sagittarius, your sister sign. What is this? The hangman. See, you're going to want to wait. There's this energy of you avoiding or resisting romantic pressure. That's what this is. Until you know for sure that they are who they say they are. Once you get that spiritual enlightenment, you'll be ready. But you're in the beginning, you're going to be like, oh my God, wait a minute, hold up. We just met. This is the kind of person who's not going to waste time wanting to get married, have children. They're just not. So they see you as their person. Show me more. I'm just going to pull four for this. The Queen of Pentacles. The world. <laughs> The Ace of Pentacles and the Two of Wands, they know. This person is very balanced. They work hard. They play hard. So, I'm telling you now, there's an energy of you kind of rejecting this person or being afraid. You could be on the uh, Gemini Cancer cusp. This could be a Pisces or Capricorn. This could be a two-year age difference. What is this happening over the next year or two for some of you? Or maybe you've already been dealing with this person for a year or two. This is somebody that cares for you. They see you as the total package. They have their stuff together. They're financially stable. They have everything. And they want to make this stable offer to you. But I feel like you're like, I don't know. It could be distance. You might have to move to be with them. And that could be the reason why you feel this way or you're meeting them online. So you might be like, I don't know if this is just what he or she does all the time. Are they just telling me stuff because it sounds good? But your love is a magnet for abundance. Attracting all the wealth, the happiness and opportunities we desire into our shared, shared journey. Look at this. Look at all that money. This is like entrepreneurship. This is a solid partnership. This is a privileged couple building on a solid ground. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow. Let's get a message from Spirit about this connection. This feels good. You're going to assume things about them, though. It's all in your head. It says, I'm not the person you make me out to be in your mind. I release my financial fears, embracing the abundance life has to offer. This person is also bringing abundance into your life. What financial anxieties do you have in the context of a relationship and how can you overcome them? This person might be very financially stable. Maybe you're not used to dealing with someone who's this wealthy. Mm -mm, that's a good problem to have, baby. Don't be complaining about that. 
but it's, it might be a little bit intimidating. Okay, so at 10 minutes, we're going to start to talk about your career and finance messages, okay? So let's see what's going on with your money. We have exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. I'm telling you, I think your person is um, an athlete or something. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels. And the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising and it becomes its own reward. Some of you can even be thinking about starting a fitness business. We have beyond pleasure, number 23. We have flowers. Working with flowers opens your heart and brings blessings to others through your life purpose. Hmm. Interesting. So somebody could work with flowers. There is a flower here. I just feel like it's all about you doing what you love. But exercising increases your vibrations, your your um, frequency, and brings in abundance for you. Helps you to manifest quickly. And I feel like this beyond pleasure is like for those of you who do need to exercise more to raise your vibration. It's like it's not about you feeling good as much as it's about you um, doing it for your health. Doing it for it's like of course nobody really likes to work out. Some people do. But your person could be a person who's into fitness. I'm telling you, I see somebody that might be challenging you to like, you know, let's get moving. Like I'm going to be around with you for a long time. I feel like they're very good looking and you're going to be thinking they're a player, but they're not. So anyway, back to your money. We have gentleness. Archangel Sandolphin. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Um, surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. Listen to your intuitive feelings. Your body is receiving accurate messages from the divine. So God is speaking to you to tell you what you need to do here. Maybe you all are trying to multitask, figure something out. Maybe you're bored at a job and you want to follow your heart here. So it's time to make a head over heart decision. And this is how you get to this abundance of the Ten of Pentacles here. Yeah, judgment call is necessary. Some of y'all are working really hard. You can have an interview coming up. If you do, you're going to get good news. You have a lot of opportunities coming towards you and your finances. We we have decide to be happy now. You do have the sun, which is the law of attraction. It's all about being happy, stand on that high vibration to attract what you want. It says, thank you for helping me to open my heart to happiness, joy, and bliss. I am now willing to see all the goodness in my life. So this is what spirit wants you to focus on when it comes to your career and your finances, Gemini. A seed has been planted and it's a seed well planted and it will turn into wealth and abundance. OK, money could be fluctuating right now, but all you have to do is follow your heart. Do what you love. Do not do what bores you. OK, something has run its course and it's time to make a decision so that you get this wealth. That's millionaire status. This is a full circle moment. I do see you moving, traveling, meeting somebody at a distance, meeting somebody online. Could even be doing work online. You can have your own home-based business. Queen of Pentacles usually has a home-based business. Somebody could be a cosmetologist. Um, you could be into art, history, fashion, beauty, the care industry, the food industry, things like that. Okay, Gemini, that is what I see for you. I hope you all enjoyed this reading. Do me a favor, like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you all the next time. Peace.